What's going on guys? We're back today with another video for you and I want to take a look at a Pirates deck. So uh, we got a new card for Pirates one, first and foremost, but we also got a buff to Christ of the Abyss, which is fantastic. So when played, if your deck contains nine or more oceans and sea cards, your history cards gain 18 until played and vice versa so this is great before this card was a little bit underpowered compared to kind of the its counterparts in the meta so uh bumping it up to 18 i think was the correct move here uh and let's see so we got a new pirate where is it or was it a pirate no i think it was a riding the waves card did i where did i stick it, it wasn't caravel i think we already had that oh Jolly Roger, that's what it was. So Jolly Roger got uh, changed. So uh, previously said your plundering pirate cards in hand cost minus two until played. But they added the return effect, which I thought was interesting. A nice buff. It says if your deck contains six or more plundering pirate cards, your non-limited riding the waves cards, wherever they are, gain 15 until played. So another buff for riding the waves. So we can see we specifically chose... Uh, almost all of them that are non-limited, aside from Caravel, is the only one that is a limited card. And then we also have Dutch, which is Mythic. But uh, the rest of the blue cards are, as you can see, uh, not limited. So we're going to take good advantage of that 15 until played. Uh, a little later, they actually changed this card as well. So this card got, in my opinion, a buff too. I want to say it used to be if your deck has nine or more plundering pirates, but they changed it to eight. So it actually now combos with Richard Worley, which is nice. So we can have eight pirates and get the perm buff of eight for Worley and the perm buff of 15 for Zhang Yi. So I'm really glad that they made that change on Zhang Yi as well. So that makes this deck way more playable now. This, this deck's actually uh, hits pretty nice. So... Uh, let's run through the rest of this real quick. We've got Francois Leclerc. Uh, when played, if played in the left slot, your riding wave cards, wherever they are, gain 18 until played. In the middle, treasure we don't care about. And then in the right, pirates get 18 until played. So either want to play him in the left or right slot. Caravel, if your deck has seven or more pirates, your riding waves get 22 until played. Unsinkable Sam, if you've lost at least one round this game, your riding waves get 25 on the round. Thomas 2, your plundering pirates, 22 for the round. A lot of cards on the round, so really got to pay attention to cycling those. Uh, Grace O'Malley, when drawn, your plundering pirates, uh, wherever gained 30 for two turns, and an opponent's random card in hand loses 20 for two turns. If you've got junk for every history card you've played this game, by either player up to a max of eight, your riding waves cards in hand gain plus four until played. Uh, beaten, when drawn, your riding waves in hand gain 25 this round. Blackbeard, another key card here. When played, your uh, riding waves and plundering pirates wherever gain 25 this round. So fantastic for our whole deck basically to get 25 on the round. Uh, we mentioned Richard Worley, HMS Beagle. We're going to get a little bit more energy perm, and that's all we care about really there. Flying Cloud, when returned, we get the Hunter perm, so it's just going to be a big heavy hitter. Flying Dutch, if you're losing the round, you get 48 this turn, and the second part's relevant now. And if you're winning the round, you're plundering pirates wherever they are, gain 36 for two turns. So we can actually play this card if we're winning now, too, in this deck. Uh, Samuel Bellamy, when returned, your plundering pirates and lost treasures gain 26 on the round. Uh, Pessy Canoe, when drawn, your riding waves get 15 until played wherever they are. And Titanic, when played, your riding waves wherever they are get 18 until played. So tons of buffs in this deck. These cards get real big, real fast, and it's just a heavy hitter, honestly. I think it's pretty playable now, uh, at least more so than it used to be. Uh, deck code, we have H-L-E-E-R-H. So go try this thing out, guys. Seems pretty good. Uh, so yeah, I've been doing pretty good with it, actually. Let's go take it for a spin, see what you guys think. <clears throat> but yeah, I am... Uh, so my wife and I, last night, we did a new content. Uh, we dropped, or I haven't hasn't released yet, but we did a couple videos. 
we're going to start kind of pushing into a board game video content as well since we uh her and I, I've mentioned it before on this channel, but we are big time board gamers. I've got like 250 games in my collection, at least, if not closer to 300. So we are going to start doing little videos on us playing games and maybe explaining how to play. Uh, we might do some top 10 content, personal favorite games that we like, just stuff like that, just to kind of add a little extra to the channel. Uh, I'll still be do dropping Q videos occasionally as well. That's not going to go anywhere, but uh, definitely if you enjoy uh, that kind of content, I'd suggest checking it out. You might enjoy it. You might find some games that you didn't, you didn't know you'd like. So I definitely suggest coming and checking out your boy. So yeah, we did one last night. It was actually a, uh, it's like a hot wings challenge game. So, like, you ask questions or ask you, like, trivia questions or, or just, I don't know, just different uh, things. Basically, you're, you're like a show host and you ask the person to tell the truth. And if they choose that they don't want to do the dare or the truth or whatever, then they have to eat spicy hot wings of some type of hot sauce. So, it gets kind of funny because uh, we're both burning our mouths and uh, stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, definitely go check it out. If you're into that kind of content so we'll be doing more funny stuff like that maybe some shorts as well try to do some uh, one minute shorts that are condensed down of us quickly playing the game or doing some funny stuff while we're playing so it should be fun really hoping that kind of takes off a little bit better for us kind of grows our channel up a little bit more All right, starting off strong here. I think we got the win for the round. And you see, already putting down decent power. 500 that turn already. <coughs> so really digging this deck. We've got a round three, too. That's riding waves. So we're probably basically going to win round three by the looks of it. All right, let's see which ones are around. We got this is for round. Blackbeard is around, so let's get Blackbeard here. We'll get Thomas here, and let's play Whirly. Up against Greek Mythology, which is another strong deck, actually. So I'll be surprised. I think it's going to give us a good run for our money, but maybe not. Maybe we're just that good, you know. Who knows? I might keep Uncle Sam as my hold card, or Uncle Sam, Unsinkable Sam. I don't know why I said Uncle Sam. <laughs> Uncle Fester here. All right, let's do this. Let's do like that. All right, extending our lead a little bit better. But yeah, definitely if you guys have uh, vi uh, board games or stuff that you... Uh, would like to see us do a video on or anything specifically definitely drop it in the comments we'll uh work to get around to it <clears throat> so we're still pretty new at this so uh give us a little time to hopefully get better it's gonna be a kind of a learning curve since uh uh us kind of doing a video together is not uh not something we're used to i can i can sit here and ramble all day myself but Trying to let my wife hop in and speak is uh, something I need to get used to personally. So it's going to be a little little bit of a challenge getting going until we get more comfortable at it. But I'm hoping. I'm hopeful. like this maybe he'll get the early lead we can drop down dutch i know we can play it while we're winning but it hits a little harder i think if you're losing uncle sam doing work here he's up to 300 <laughs> yeah it did it on purpose that time i know i know i know you caught it so maybe we do Maybe we do play you here. Let's do it like that. 
Nice 700. We take those. We take that. Oh, yeah, we're looking juicy now. I think we just go for the jugular here and close this out. Whew, almost a thousand on round three. Not, yeah, this is riding waves, but still pretty strong. Well, hot dang, that was, that was kind of quick. I guess we'll do one more. We just swept that too fast. <clears throat> Let's try again. Make sure it wasn't a fluke. Definitely digging the pirates now. Like I said, I like the buffs they got. The uh, Zang... I still think the Zang Yi buff was because of me, personally. I did a video back before the buff where they changed it to 8. <clears throat> And uh, it was probably a good month or two before they changed it. I made a comment about how it didn't combo well with Richard Worley and that I thought Pirates would be so much better off if it did. And then, lo and behold, two months later, they made the exact change I mentioned in the video to change it to eight instead of nine. And uh, they did it. So I, I, I don't know if it was me or not, but it kind of makes sense because I know... I know they watch my videos occasionally, so <clears throat> I think I caught it right at the right time, and they were like, yeah, that does make sense. Let's do... Let's do Titanic. All right, up against a Nebula. This will be a good one to see. This Nebula can be quite strong, so let's see if pirates can keep up with Nebula be a good test all right we got our zhang yi definitely playing you out first uh, i think we can keep holding on to uncle sam there so let's go let's go like this this might be a good one for to act as like a, a late game hold card just keep letting it stack up because it you really don't want to play it early anyway because you have to at least lose one round for it to trigger so I could see holding this all game, just letting it stack up. Might be a good strategy for a late game ploy. Do it like this. We got our Thomas for next round, holding Uncle Sam. Crushing him. Oh, that was my, uh, I was like, why am I crushing so hard? It was my, uh, riding the waves round, unfortunately. Okay, well. All right, we're getting you down, you down. And let's do, let's do junk. All right, if we sweep this one too, man, whew. I'm gonna say this deck's OP. Nah, maybe not OP, but definitely... Definitely playable. All right, we got Sam Bellamy late, so I'm going to put it in slot one. That way it cycles next time where we want it. We'll go Whirly. Oh, uh, that's kind of unfortunate for that one. Maybe we hold that till next round. Do it like this. Get the buff from Dutch, at least on the pirates. We'll hold bead until next round. Like that. Since it's a round card, we can cycle it properly. All right, round two we got. Feeling good. Uncle Sam's still sitting. Haven't lost a round yet, so like I said, decent hold card. Just 
keep letting it get some until played buffs. Alright, we got our Zhang Yi. Get you out. Blackbeard for sure. And don't want to play you. Actually, we could do it like this. Yeah, that's fine. So we don't have to play Blackbeard that round. We can hold it if we go that late. buff the boats all right looking good and we're about tied here very close Flying Cloud with that plus 100, though, in that fifth round is going to be good. But he's also got a space round, which is not great for us. So we really want to win by four. I don't want to give him that huge advantage. Do we just go for the win here? I think we do. I don't think he's putting 800 down. I think we can just win right here. Yeah, that's smart. No reason to risk and extend out to go to five, and we can just finish it now. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the deck, man. That thing seems strong. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought, but uh, definitely feels good. But uh, as always, guys, please hit that like button and that subscribe button. Keep your eye out for our new content dropping. I'd really appreciate you guys go support us. Check it out. Give it a like. Give it a comment on our board game videos. That'll really help us out a lot. So uh, anything you guys can do for us, I really appreciate. 